Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and we're back inside Lumber Tycoon 2. Um, I had planned on going and getting Koa Wood, and um, since it's a private, ooh, excuse me, since it's a private server, guess what? Hoover takes off like almost immediately. So whenever I load it in, I'm like, oh my gosh, now I gotta wait whole 17, 14 minutes for him to finish his round trip and then come back over here. So while I was doing that, I thought, why am I not recording like right now? Because I need to clean up my base a little bit and, you know, just kind of hang out and, and do some cleaning of the old, the old house. So that's what I just decided to do. I'm uh, going to record and play and basically just hang out like I would normally when I'm waiting for Hoover. So I hope you like this inside um, <clears throat> view into my organization. Oh, gosh, come on. Or organization skills and um, concepts because I mean basically there is none <laughs> whenever I, I decide to organize stuff it's usually because it's become so messy I can't uh, I can't function so that's that's what I'm doing right now just kind of hanging out chilling uh, I haven't even read the comments today I'm doing something a little bit different today um, so whoa what happened what happened there is there one below it oh, oh no <clears throat> Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Why are you glitching? Okay. Come on. Come on. It's like freaking out. You're not even you're not even a long plank, dude. Let's see which side falls. Huh. Okay. Um <clears throat> something a little bit different that I've done today that I don't normally do. Um, I went to sleep on the couch at, I don't know, I'm not in trouble. <laughs> no, I was just so tired. I actually fell asleep on the couch. Um, kiddos were like pretty much done with bath and bedtimes and stuff like that. But I normally wake up about 10 o'clock and then come out and like record or do something, hang out, you know, didn't do that tonight. I stayed asleep. And I slept all the way until about four o'clock in the morning. So it is it is now four fifty-four. I finally got up, did my hair, got some coffee, hung out for a little bit, and uh, I actually feel really good. Like I don't know if I just need to catch up on sleep or owie, ow, 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 ow. <clears throat> I don't know if I just need to catch up on some sleep or what was going on, but I'm glad I did because around four thirty when uh when I was making my coffee and stuff, my son woke up and it turned out that, what is that? Dad, why, why? Come here, come here you. Oh, come on, jump back up there. Get, give me. I'm glad I did because my son actually woke up around uh, 4.30 and he was sick. I'm like, oh bud, I'm so sorry. But I was able to help him out and basically um, get him some medicine so he has been sick he was sick uh, this week from school so and I know what that's like it just ugh, when you're, it's not really like sick sick but you're just you're feeling cruddy and you don't like want to do anything I know that feeling and I'm worried that I'm starting to come down with something but you know that's okay <clears throat> um, if you don't know what I'm doing I'm I want to keep one by one um, logs for all my building things because I've got the power. I got the power. <clears throat> Hold on, let's drop this first. You gonna you gonna fly through the other boards? No, you gonna play nice? Okay, cool. So as long as you don't have any glitchy boards, you should be able to stack everything up in these little one by one bins. Um, <clears throat> what was the point of me going over to Hoover? Oh, Koa Wood. Koa Wood for the pixel art that I promised Ollie that I was going to finish. Ugh. It's taking forever. Just taking forever. Boom. And you guys haven't seen, like, the first base in quite some time, so I don't I don't know. Do the new subscribers know about the, the, the original base? Like, the crazy base? Thing that takes forever to load in. And it's really not that big. It just has a lot of physics items on it. And I think that's uh, that's something that <clears throat> that causes the lag. That's that's the bigger issue. It's not how big you build 
it's how many physical objects, how many loose objects you have. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this right here, this is not a loose object, this is anchored. Whereas this, this is a loose physics object. Loose physics objects with scripts. Like, I think that's a, a big concept when building. <clears throat> I think it, you could have a ton of loose objects, but with no build. But then if you wanted to do a build, you would have to have no loose objects for like a really big build. Which, I don't know if that's true or not. It's just concepts. I really need to like, whoever gave me these, thank you. But I, I've got to get these down to a smaller size. And they just take forever to chop. Forever. <clears throat> I promised you guys some logic, didn't I? Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Maybe we'll pick up logic while we're over there. Instead of doing koa wood, we'll do logic. We do that. I got four million. Yeah, we could pick up a couple things. You know, something little. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I actually had four million dollars in real life money, like, I don't know what I would do. Like, that's a that is a lot of money. <clears throat> um, my YouTube channel. If you look at the um, social blade stuff, I. think I think it says I average anywhere from 10 to 26,000 a year, which is concept. It's not, those aren't actual numbers. Um, those are based on CPM clicks per million views. So, um, but that's 26,000. That's the max, 26,000. Um, okay, Google. Oh, oh no, I don't have my phone. <gasps> Where's my phone at? There. Hold on. Calculator. Bust out my handy dandy blues clues calculator. So let's say four million. We'll just round it. Four million divided by twenty-six thousand. <clears> so a hundred and fifty-three point eight four other stuff. Uh remainder. So four million dollars would keep my like, it, instead of me getting paid by YouTube, if I were to take the four million and split it out, it would l allow me to go for 153 years. 153 years. That's just, you know, keeping on average of the 26,000, which is the maximum. And if we were to go four million, and what was the minimum, like 10,000? Divide by 10,000, 400 years. So. It's a big concept. <clears throat> I don't think, I don't think people realize the number game. Like you, you tell somebody, oh, a thousand dollars, and they're like, oh, it's just a number. Um, but if you tell somebody like, they they don't get the number, it just becomes a statistic or a number. It's it's not, it's not valued the same. Um, I've. I've said this concept with uh, my subscriber counts before. Whenever I hit 30,000, 40,000 subscribers, like, <clears throat> I wanted you guys to understand the concept behind the subscriber. Yeah, it's a number, right? And we all get that. Uh, so if I go and look at my subscriber count right now, uh, Cook Primate. I'll even look at the live count so it's not messed up from YouTube. 96,454. 96,000. 96,000. Do you know how many people that is? Hi, Hoover. <clears throat> now here's, here's where that number becomes more substantial. Um, if you're watching this and you are subscribed, you are one of those 96,000. 96 and a half thousand. Um, and the reason this is so significant to me is because you are the one individual person. You have your own taste, you have your own likes, you have your own dislikes. You are a person. You are not a number. Okay? So don't think that, like, one person is just a number, ever. 
96,000 of you have your own life. That is huge to me. Uh, I'll buy a ticket. I don't know, Hoover. I don't have that much monies. I'm just kidding. Um, when do you run next? Oh, we still got like six minutes. Um, okay. I can go clean up a little bit more. I hope I don't miss it. Now, one thing I would like to do is move these presents. Like, got these out here in my front yard, and it's just kind of taking up a room. Actually, didn't I say I was going to open all this stuff? I did, didn't I? Whoa, wait a second. Can I lift up a truck? I started to. And they fixed the toboggan, right? You cannot grab it? To like glitch onto it. Nope. It is fixed. <clears throat> Wonder if we can still glitch it onto uh, a truck or not. I don't. I don't know. I'm probably not gonna try. But let's go ahead and get these in here. Do 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 toboggan show. Do 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 toboggan show. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You might be asking, Code, what are you doing? Why are, why are you opening all those up? Well, I'm opening them up so they're not scripted anymore. Um, well, I don't think these are scripted. They have a grab um, feature, but I think that grab feature is being generated by the pink balls. I don't think that's being created by uh, the object itself. I could be wrong. I don't know where the script on these is, is held. Oh dear. Come on. Get back in there. Get back in there. Here. Um Can I just swing and a miss? That'll that'll work. I got six minutes to clean this stuff up, Code. Come on, seriously, what are you doing? Um let's build I'm not really going to be able to put those into a bin, am I? Um, hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Idea. Idea. I forgot I had all this stuff down here at the end. See, and this is why we need to go through and just clean, clean the base every once in a while, you know? And the, the base cleaning videos actually get a lot of views. I was surprised the first time that I done like I did this. Um, you guys really enjoy me just talking and cleaning up my base, which I'm cool with. Uh, in fact, if there were such thing as like organization simulator, you know that would be a, a great concept. It's just where you have to go and like clean your room. That would be, you know. Just kidding. I don't know how many people would actually play that. That would be kind of cool to, to see, though. Alright, I'm going to build these with large floors, because... Let's see. Um, turn. Oh, gosh. I'm going to sneeze. Mm, nope. Maybe not. Maybe. Oh. Mm. <laughs> nope. So let's build that. Smooth wall, turn and rotate like that. And then we're gonna need like a post, aren't we? Dual post to what about the smooth wall? Yeah, we can do that. Rotate. No, we want to be right on the edge, right? Just like that. You know what? This can go out to the end, that's okay. We can do two, two like that. And then let's do two large floor. Rotate, turn, rotate like that. And I completely missed. 
Why? 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 Code. Why? There we go. Place that right there. And then, uh, large floor. Uh, oh, March. <laughs> Clicking on the wrong thing there, code. Mm, rotate. Let's come in one like that. B. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Gonna need seven of these. Boop a doo Alright. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tweet. I love the Twitter X because it does the little boop. Why did it is okay. Whatever. Whatever. I don't mind having different colored walls, it's fine. Uh, although I'm, I'm probably gonna get comments now like, God, you can't keep it like that, you gotta change it. All right. See, see, you don't even have to comment anymore. You just, I'm going to actually read your minds and be like, oh, that's a, this is what they're going to say in the comment section. Come on, come on, come on. Has it been six minutes yet? I bet it has. We should probably start making our way back over there. Making my way downtown, moving fast in the Hoover bound. Do, 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 do. What else is playing on YouTube? I mean, uh, <laughs> is okay. Is that your recommendation list? There's a lot of stuff over there, like. I'm amazed at how much clickbait is still on YouTube. I mean, even though we've called it out multiple times, we're like, dude, this is so clickbait. Just, wow. Uh, here, here's something fun. The video recommendation that I'm pointing at right now that's over there in the corner, whatever it is, if you're on mobile, it might be like down this direction, but whatever it is right here next to me, um, comment that into your uh, the comments down below. That'd be fun, fun little game to play. All right, we need to lift this out. Whoa, buddy! Whoa! Oh, slow down! Stop! 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 Whew. You're just going crazy over here. Whoa! There we go. Drop that. Drop. Drop this in here like that. And drop this one that can we go back and forth like that I don't, I don't know I mean the whole point of this video was to go and get koa wood and now I'm doing like sled organizations and I, I didn't even do them right you know what eat that nom, nom, nom. thank you gotta eat a hoover bar in uh, in honor of the hoover oh gosh oh gosh why am I Halloween candy this year was absolutely awesome. I loved it. <gasps> no! The Hoover never runs on time. And by my calculation... Oh, I guess we are... Okay. Okay, okay, we'll just, we'll wait for him again, which is going to be another 7, 7, 14, 14 minutes. I mean, that's fine. We can just... <sighs> Should we make a Ro Rube Goldberg machine? Do you guys know what a Rube Goldberg machine is? I don't know if you guys know what that is. A Rube Goldberg machine is um, something that starts at... Like, um, <clears throat> okay, it's like you take a marble and you drop it from one end and it like goes and hits a bowling ball and the bowling ball rolls and hits like a domino and then the dominoes do like a little path thing. Like, it's a really complicated contraption to do a very simple task or to accomplish a simple end. That's a Rube Goldberg machine. But I like, I like their concepts. 
They're fun. If you look up, uh, don't do it right now, but if you look up Rube Goldberg machines on uh, YouTube, I mean, there are entire channels of nothing but Rube Goldberg machines. Now those aren't the same as a Van der Graaff machine. A Van der Graaff machine is a static uh, electricity generator, <clears throat> which, by the way, um, I like the the logic and stuff inside here. I wish it worked more like real electricity, which I know you can't you can't really program that in. I mean, you could, but not really. It's a it's an idea. If you could. Could you imagine, like, using coils and creating, uh, like, Tesla coils and stuff like that to throw sparks and lightning? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, by the way, I do have, uh, like, a Jacob's Ladder on my channel. Um, that is something that I built. Uh, it was out of an old neon sign step-up capacitor. Or, not capacitor, um... Blah, blah, blah. What is it called? It's not a capacitor. <sighs> transformer. It's a transformer. <laughs> it is a um, step up transformer. I also have some other cool little scientific y things. One involves a, a black light and some highlighters. Those were pretty cool. And those were. Oh, I actually recorded those back on my. Um, Oh gosh, what is it? The Blackberry. The old Blackberry uh, phone. Yeah, that was a while back. Uh, hmm. What was I doing? Completely lost my train of thought. Oh well. Um, we can take down our Christmas lights now, right? I would I would say so. We're we're probably good to take down the Christmas lights. It is almost the end of January. Uh-oh. Uh and we should probably start in on making a roof for ourselves, you know. Putting the roof on could be a very beneficial. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let's finish out the rest of the episode like clean up a little bit and we'll start working on an inside roof you know I, I also didn't realize my ceiling probably has a lot of room up there in fact I could I could probably put down boards and create like a an, an little attic hmm because right now it's just insulation and stuff so I do have a gingerbread axe. I knew I'd picked one up somewhere. Yes. You are never leaving my side. You're like my only gingerbread axe. You do so teeny tiny. And we still have a... Hold on. I could have sworn I had... Oh. Put that in the dryer. Come on, get into the dryer. Do we have any more of those? I had five at one time. <laughs> I'm like, there's a really big candy bar in here. That's not a candy bar code. <laughs> Hold on, does this fit in sideways? Can we get it to fit? It won't go in sideways, will it? It'll just stay in there. That's fine. <clears throat> now, is my ceiling actually that tall? I would I would say so. It's about that tall. Okay, cool. Oh, come on. Uh, Christmas lights, Christmas lights. Keep on task code. Hold on. <sighs> Let's drink a little bit of coffee. Okay, let's keep going. Jumping around on the roof. Putting away my Christmas lights in the attic. It's 
time to settle down. Get ready for uh, the end of winter. Well, it's not really the end of winter. I mean, well, and that also depends. Because if you're in New Zealand right now, you're experiencing summer. Which, congratulations, you guys had like a really good week for sunshine and I think, wait, hold on, I don't want to say that and like half the people in New Zealand are like, dude, what are you talking about? Um, hold on. Uh, weather in New Zealand. Okay, it's like 12 a.m. And it's 67 degrees. You had a high of 75. Humidity is like 90, 90%. Precipitation, 1. So, okay. Y you guys are having uh, some clouds today. It looks like you might have some rain on Saturday, next Saturday. But for the most part, it's just nice and cloudy throughout the entire week. With uh, highs of 79, 75, 73. It's nice weather. It's a lot better than my freezing cold. U.S. weather. Wait, what am I? Over, over here. This way. This way, guys. This way. <laughs> what was the term? Uh... Oh, somebody said it the other day. Cleaning my base is kind of like rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the the concept. I mean, that's that is a very true statement. I mean, I'm very disorganized, and you know, my ADHD mind just kind of keeps me going. But it was like, wow, really? Hold on, let's put this down real quick. I just realized I'm I'm going about this wrong way. Move, nope, oh. move. Open up our garage door. <clears throat> a lot of you might be asking, "Hey, why do why do the uh, why do these not go up whenever they first load in?" Well, that's because the glass doors always load in first for some reason. So the glass door rises in. I've left the door open, so it rises, and then the other two doors down here resin. So if I want it to resin correctly, I have to shut it. Oh, come on, I have to shut them. Ouchie. And then save the base like that. If they save like this, then I can just open these, no problem, because they would they would attach automatically correctly. <laughs> Anyhow, that's why. I just realized the background sound is kind of like uh, the Full House song. Everywhere you go, everything you do, it's so hard, a friend to hold on to. When you're lost out there and you're all alone, life is waiting to take carry you home. Everywhere you go. <clears throat> um, I don't know how many of you know about Full House. Like, Full House is something that I grew up with. I would watch it after school almost every day. Just before Animaniacs. It would be like Animaniacs and then Full House. And then my mom would be like, You got homework to do, you need to do your homework. I'd be like, I don't want to do my homework, Full House is on. <clears throat> or Animaniacs. <clears throat> and a lot of you like um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, I grew up with like the first episodes back when I was five years old. The first Ninja Turtles that I ever saw was inside my grandma's house. I remember it was the day after Christmas. And um, I remember her red carpet. It was a it was a different kind of carpet. Not like regular carpet, but it was it was scratchy. It was very scratchy carpet. And I used to love laying on my back. And scratching my back on her carpet. I don't know why. It was the best feeling ever. So, my son has um, sensory with impulsivity, ADHD, and he loves his back being rubbed. 
Like he asked me all the time, he's like, dad, can you scratch my back? Can you scratch my back? And I didn't realize that I did the same thing, only I would use like the carpet. I'd lay on my back and scratch my car uh, scratch my back on the carpet. I loved it. So, anyhow. Random thoughts. <laughs> so, anyhow, uh, that that was the first time that I'd seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was whenever I was 5. What's kind of cool? Okay, so <laughs> let me just break this down real quick. I know that uh, a lot of YouTube videos and stuff like that, they do gameplays and everything else like that. This is really cool because the videos like this, where I'm just, I'm messing around and I'm kind of just hanging out. I feel like I'm archiving my life. It's like a journal. It's like a daily vlog. It's like a concept because I'm recalling memories that like I normally wouldn't recall <laughs> and it's just because I'm sitting in here playing relaxing hang having fun and hanging out um, I think the video concept of memory is amazing because even years from now after after I'm gone okay and this is this is a deeper concept. But my my channel might not last forever. I won't live for eternity. Like eventually something will happen and there'll be some kind of tragic story behind it, like, oh my gosh, good primate had a motorcycle accident while skydiving in Nepal. I, I don't know. What whatever, whatever the thing is that, you know, gets me. Um it's nice knowing that someone, somewhere, somehow, could come back to this video and will get that little piece of memory of like the first time that I watched the Teenage Mutant Ninja Trolls, or the first time like my grandmother's red carpet. That's humbling. That is a very, very nice thought just to know that somebody could hear that. And even though it's not important to you right now, and it's not conceptually like, oh, his grandmother's red carpet. And, I mean, it's not It's not a big deal. It's. I mean, you guys could go the rest of your lives and not know that fact, and it'd be okay. But the fact that it's still here, and it's on the internet, and it's, it's archived. And that's not to say, you know, what if YouTube goes under? What if the internet dies? And, and it's, it's still a nice thought. So, we're at 33 minutes. I didn't mean for it to go this long. I do apologize. Uh, tomorrow we'll do, uh, I'll, I'll do the Koa Wood uh, concept. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end, but it's really up to you. If you want to, go for it. If not, I'm still here. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro! Thank you.